Hello everybody and welcome back to this month's Gaming News Flash, where we talk about everything that has happened in the past month in rapid succession. CD Projekt Red has fallen victim to a cyber attack. Those who managed to gain access to the developer's ICT system took off with the source codes of Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher 3, among other things. The hackers also left an extortion message, but CD Projekt Red announced that they were not going to meet their demands, and restored the files they lost via backups. In response, the hackers sold the codes on the dark web for an impressive $7 million. Google Stadia is closing its game studios and abandoning all its plans to develop its own games. About 150 employees, including Jade Raymond, are now unemployed. However, the Stadia streaming service will remain active and Google is still looking to release third-party games for it. Embracer Group, the parent company of THQ Nordic, has acquired Gearbox. This acquisition gives Gearbox a new financial scope to continue its growth. The close relationship with publisher 2K Games will still be maintained as they will still continue to publish Borderlands games. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 developer Vicarious Visions is absorbed by Blizzard Entertainment. The studio and its 200 employees will now serve exclusively for Blizzard projects. Vicarious Visions is said to already have been working on Blizzard projects in recent months. Quantic Dream, developer of Detroit Become Human, has opened a second office in Montreal. The new game will work on these same games as the Paris studio and is meant to attract new talent. Assassin's Creed Valhalla's senior game designer Yuan Kazu is already making the switch from Ubisoft to Quantic Dreams. Hitman developer IO Interactive wants to grow from 200 to 400 employees to support the development of their James Bond game. To this end, the establishment of a new studio in Sweden is being considered. Chinese internet giant Tencent is still on an acquisition path. Not only did they buy up Don't Starve developer Clay Entertainment, they also acquired shares in the Life is Strange studio Don't Nod and the DayZ developer Bohemia. Valve has a lawsuit over its most favored nations clause in their service agreement. That clause requires developers to offer their games on Steam at the same price as on other platforms, making it difficult to compete with Steam. The next Final Fantasy XIV expansion will be called Endwalker and will round up the Hedalen and Zodiac storylines with a dazzling climax. Not only will new questlines, dungeons and jobs be added, but you will also be able to explore new locations, including the moon. EA will release a new Battlefield at the end of this year. The FPS promises to harness the full power of the next-gen consoles by unleashing even more players onto the Battlefield at the same time. An official announcement is expected this spring. And as everyone has long expected, Call of Duty is getting a sequel at the end of this year. Disciples Liberation features over 80 hours of strategic RPG fun in a dark fantasy universe. You build a base, summon an army from more than 50 different units, and then throw yourself into tactical turn-based battles. Like its predecessors, Puzzle Quest 3 combines thrilling storyline and deep RPG mechanics with addictive puzzle gameplay. The storyline takes place about 500 years after the original Puzzle Quest. Turn-based strategy game Warhammer 40k Battle Sector will have a campaign of 20 missions in which the aftermath of the destruction of Baal is central. In addition, a skirmish mode in which you choose your own maps and tactics guarantees endless hours of fun. Full Circle is a new studio tasked with developing the next skate, cause Perry and Duran Chung, the creative minds behind the skate franchise, has already joined Full Circle. With the prequel trilogy now finished, Crystal Dynamics wants to show the confident adventurer from the early games in the next Tomb Raider adventure. The plan is to merge the timelines of the prequels and the original games from core design into one canon with this new game. There may be even more Tomb Raider project on the way as Square Enix teased multiple announcements in honor of the 25th anniversary of the series. 
According to the rumor mill, EA has a new Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic planned. However, the sequel will not be developed by Bioware nor by Obsidian Entertainment. And that's it guys, you're back up to speed. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more gaming news, reviews and release roundups, be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And I'll see you when I see you. That's awesome.